Insta. Uh, what about bad man Kevo, man? Oh, I don't know, question? man. I mean, I mean, the question is like, uh, would you spit on him in person? Just ask. <laughs> if you see him, would you spit on that bar in person, man? You know, I, I'm just saying. I saw you on no jumper, man. And, I mean, if it was the yeah. same situation and it played out like that, yeah, you would do that. Like, if, if you saying like if that was him right there versus, yeah. 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 Wow, that, that was his partner right there, though, right? That was somebody. Uh, I don't know what that uh, is. Like, I didn't even know who that dude was and, until like that shit happened with me. And then he just uh, popped up. Like, going to work for him. I still, like, I still don't, I don't be getting half of this shit. Wow, because I was sitting there watching that. Another state. I don't know, dude. Right. I mean, so what happened? He just called you out, like, told you to, you know. Some yeah. shit men shouldn't say to, to another man. Yeah, you know, like, the whole reason that that situation even happened, because the uh, dude you just mentioned, he, he sent him off and had him on no jumper. when There's like 15,000 people live watching it and said some shit on my name, like some false shit. So I called his boss, Adam, who I got a relationship with, basically like, what the fuck is going on? And he, bro, I had no clue he was going to do this. He just like a, a a wild card. He did this on live, wow. I and I was like, I need to fix that shit. Like he gonna end up getting hurt doing that. And he was like, How about you come on a show with me and uh, clear we, it up? Yeah, we we chop it up or whatever. And like last minute, he was like, I ain't gonna be able to make it. But even better, you can talk to him yourself and confirm him. And I told him, I was like. Well, I asked him, I was like, you ain't gonna press charges if I put my hands on him. Like, and I was for real, but then I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna do that. Actually, your son, Ruger, he don't wanna talk me out of doing it. And, uh, I was like, now I'm just playing. And uh, I, ain't, I still wasn't sure if I was gonna even do the interview or not. Like, literally up until the point we got there, mm -hmm. that's when I, 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 I was like, mentally, I conditioned myself to do the interview and just sit there and not do what I wanted to do. Right. And it was really Ruger telling me like, don't get on this white man platform and just look emotional or make a fool of yourself. Like, everybody else don't really know what's going on. This is your opportunity, let them know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's really why I stayed patient for like an hour, but I got tired of that shit. Uh, you got tired of that? Yeah. Yeah. So y'all squashed everything down? No, but it ain't. It ain't no beef though, like. He, I'm saying, is it true that you, you know, you smashing this ass girl or something? Bad man, man Kevo, I'm just honest, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that true, man? That you. you know, I mean, I don't like keep on. That's your girl that though. That's your girl though. Nah, ain't my girl. Yeah, somebody you just smashed. I'm just. I, I mean, y'all seen what she said. I don't want to keep talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> she she said enough. Like she said what she it was. She said enough. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Stop.